morning is starting out with a new experience for me. I'm going to the session chairs breakfast, which I've never been to before. It also means waking up earlier. Tragically, it also means that I did not make coffee before leaving my room. But I hear there's coffee at this breakfast. Hence the name, session chairs breakfast. All right, 7.30, good morning, everybody. Today I'm thinking a lot about experiences that we have here. Hopefully, mostly good experiences. Just being at this conference is kind of an unusual experience. Actually, an interesting experience I've been having this year is this whole vlogging thing. It's giving me a new reason to talk to people and new constraints about how I talk to them. Vloggers apparently don't sleep. We're about halfway through the conference, and I'm also really encouraged that I still think this is a good idea. I still think this is a cool project, and I've been meeting a ton of people who are really engaged and really interested in contributing. All right, welcome to Stars and Friends 2. Uh, and the last note of order, um, we are going to encourage, uh, especially junior people, to ask the first questions. So without further ado, special. Hey, I'm Eddie. I go to Villanova. I'm a computer engineer, and I created a virtual reality environment for eclipsing binaries. My name is Elias Artori. I'm a PhD student at ETH Zurich in Switzerland, trying to understand how the activity of supermassive black hole can vary with time. Hey Jim, how are you? Welcome to NASA's best mission, the uh, Kepler K2 booth. We're looking for planets, we're looking for supernovae, and asteroids and comets, and best stickers as well. If any of your viewers would like to join NASA, then shoot us an email, because we need people with technical skills and science skills to join NASA. How's it going? Dude, I love your edits. Sarah, I'm so sorry. You gave your thesis talk today. I did. It was spectacular. And I'll be presenting work I've done during my thesis. So here you do reproduce a nice morphology of the stream in the inner part. So if we test a PAL-5 model where we do have a galactic bar, what happens? We suddenly see gaps and under densities. Yeah, it's my first time at the AAS actually. First time? Yes. Well, welcome to the AAS. How do you like science on this scale? It's a little overwhelming. We could swap, I can hold Sure. It. Wow. This is yeah. a little scary. Oh, that's nice. Uh, so why did you want to make this TV box? One of my goals for this was just to show both what my experiences are, but also those magical moments which drive research. Whenever you see a scientist, you don't get to see them in like their natural habitat with these beautiful, and I promise, totally real. But the birds are real. The birds are real, and they That's must be so disappointed. Very confusing. <laughs> you have made a name for yourself, some great content. Uh, what other kinds of outreach do you want to do? Yeah, so I have a YouTube channel, Space with Sarah, that is uh, very scripted, so I base it on questions I most often get as a scientist. But what I'm lacking now um, is that personal aspect, right? I'm not really showing the life of a scientist on YouTube, which I think is a really fun idea that you're doing right now. So this is the first time I actually even put my Space with Sarah logo on a scientific slide because I normally tend to e either have my Science Sarah hat on or my Space with Sarah hat on. Uh, do you worry about getting too technical in your outreach or do you worry about watering down your science? In my science I don't worry about watering it down but in my outreach I find myself struggling with oh I know all these things and I want to show the world that I know them. One thing I'm trying to do and what we should do next is go talk to some new people. Let's go walk. Yay. simulation to find the extinction of AGN in different galaxies. I'm Austin Bostrom, I'm at UC Davis, and I study type 2 supernova, which are the massive stars that explode. So I'm Eva, and I work at the Space Telescope Science Institute, and I work on wavefront sensing and control for the James Webb Space Telescope. Hey, I'm John, I study Young stellar clusters, and this is my iPad. Hi, I am Rishi Podil. I'm from University of Delaware. I'm studying ultra cool dwarf, searching for white light flares. Right, so 
I'm Greg, I'm from Syracuse University. Uh, I'm here presenting on single pulses, uh, and work I did at Green Bank Observatory. Hey, I'm Cliff Johnson. I'm a Sierra Fellow at Northwestern University here at AAS to talk about pre-main sequence stars and star formation, and uh, also uh, ran a Zooniverse workshop. I'm Chris Moriarty, I'm a software engineer at the Space Telescope Science Institute, and I work on a high contrast imaging experiment called HiCat, and I like ping pong. Hi, I'm Mike and uh, I fly Sophia. It's a, it's a pretty interesting mission. Hi, my name is Karina Lepic and I'm a mission director for Sophia. I'm Alice Allen and I run the Astrophysics Source Code Library. Hi, my name is Sophia. I am a master's student at Wesleyan University and I am working on developing methods for detecting black holes in active galaxies. Today I really wanted to focus on experiences, things that you experience being here, presenting your work. I went looking for people. I've got a lot of these talking head clips in this video because I want to put forward the people who are doing the real work, inspiring me and making a difference.